If you haven't figured it out by now, I'm a huge fan of Power Rangers, but I find it surprising on how many people don't know Power Rangers isn't entirely American. Power Rangers is actually adapted from a Japanese series of kids' action shows named Super Sentai, but that's not what we're here to talk about. I'm here to count down my top 5 favorite Super Sentai series, but keep in mind I haven't seen every Super Sentai series, nor am I claiming to. This is not an official list, this is just my personal opinion, and with 41 Super Sentai series to choose from, only 5 can make the cut, so don't get too upset if your favorite Sentai doesn't make the list. The only rule I have for this list is that I must have seen all episodes of that series, as well as all movies related to said series. With all that out of the way, let's get into it. Number 5 the number 5 spot on this list, I've given it to Ninja Sentai Kaku Ranger. Kaku Ranger is definitely a series that's out of the ordinary, and I mean that in the most positive way possible. It was made in the mid-90s, making it one of the earliest Sentai I've ever seen. Hundreds of years ago, a clan of ninjas sealed away evil monsters known as Yokai. In present day, two street thugs are tricked into freeing the yokai after being sealed away for so long, and it's up to them, along with the descendants of the clan of ninja, to fight off the yokai as the Kaku Rangers. For some reason, I'm really into ninjas, so it was great to see a ninja sentai team. One of the major things about Kaku Ranger was its shift in tone halfway through the show. The first half is more lighthearted and goofy, while the second half takes itself more seriously, and I love the show for that. The show was goofy when it needed to be goofy, and the show was serious when it needed to be serious. But that's not the only reason why I love Kaka Ranger. The characters are all relatable to me. The comedy of the show is friggin' hilarious. And near the end of the show, oh boy, are you guys in for a ride. But the show is not without its flaws. The first half of the show got extremely goofy at times. The final villain of the show comes right the heck out of nowhere. And some of the characters were just there, I guess. But Kaka Ranger is a lot of fun, and what more can you say about it but Ninja? Number 4 The number 4 spot in this list belongs to Gogo -Go Sentai Bokenger. Bokenger was the 30th installment of Super Sentai, so you can imagine it had a lot of big shoes to fill, but that wasn't the case. But it is a very good series despite that. Bokenger told the story of a team of young treasure hunters trotting the globe looking for pieces of a special MacGuffin known as Precious, and while doing so, they have to prevent it from getting in the wrong hands. The series has a lot of great action and adventure, I'm always emotionally invested with the characters, and the story flows really well, and not to mention the special effects are not bad for mid-2000 standards. Of course, the show has its problems. The series has multiple villain factions, which makes it a bit hard to follow. The situations the characters find themselves in are just out of the ordinary, and boy are the villains ridiculous! Bokenger is a very exciting series and worthy for you to start up if you ever decide to watch it. Number 3 The number 3 spot I have given to Engin Sentai Goanger. Goanger was a series that focused more on comedic elements than dramatic ones, and I'm completely 100% okay with that. It goes all out with its goofiness, and it works because of that. The story is that, in an alternate dimension known as the Machine World, the Garak Empire are invading, and some citizens of the Machine World, known as Engines, retreat to the Earth and bond their spirits with that of courageous humans, giving them the ability to become the Goangers. I just love Goanger for just how goofy it is. Sure, it gets too goofy every once in a while, but hey, comparing Goanger to Power Rangers RPM is like comparing Batman 66 to Batman 89. I'm a huge IndyCar fan, so I love the race car motif of the show. And I think the characters are all enjoyable in certain situations. Okay, time to discuss the show's flaws. Character development is really rushed. How the engines work is really confusing. And the villain's plan, man, it's stupid. Despite all its flaws, check the show out if you already haven't. Number 2 Number 2 on this list shouldn't come as a surprise. Kaizoku Sentai Gokaiger. Gokaiger is a fan-favorite Sentai series, it was the 35th Sentai series, and it went all out with the anniversary stuff, even if it technically didn't celebrate the 35th anniversary, but I digress. And fans love Gokaiger, but, and it's easy to see why. In case you don't know, Gokaiger told the story of five space pirates going down to Earth in search of the greatest treasure in the universe, but plans change as the Zangak Empire attack Earth, and the space pirates had to fight them off as the Gokaigers, channeling the powers of the previous 34 Sentai teams. What are you doing watching this video? Go watch Gokaiger if you already haven't! Okay, in all seriousness, I do see why people like it. The space pirate motif is really cool, the show is filled with all sorts of fun stuff, I get really invested with the heroes, and the villains are actually competent for once, 
But obviously, the main reason why Gokaiger is such a beloved season is all is of all the really cool anniversary stuff that they do. Appearances by past heroes, mechs from previous seasons, and of course, the Gokaijers transforming into previous Sentai teams. That was always cool to see. But... All of you who are hardcore Gokaiger fans, you might want to skip to this point in the video, because if you don't, you're gonna threaten to kill me. Okay, my biggest problem with Gokaiger is that it's way too focused on the anniversary stuff. It barely has time to tell its own story because it's too busy telling the stories of all the previous 34 Sentai series that you wish you were watching instead. And much like Season 1 of MMPR, it was too focused on showing off the cool stuff and not enough on storytelling and character development. But despite that, I do see why fans love the series so much, and it does deserve to be this high on this list. And my number one personal favorite Super Sentai series of all time is... Come on guys, you know what it is. Russia Sentai Tokyuger. I admit it, you knew Tokyuger would take the top spot. Sure, it is a bit biased, seeing how Tokyuger was the first Sentai I watched from start to finish, but I don't care, it was amazing despite that. Five childhood friends reunite as adults on the Rainbow Train Line to take on the evil Shadow Empire as the Tokyugers, using the powers of their... IMAGINATION! What can I say about Tokyuger that hasn't already been said? It's fun, exciting, colorful, adventurous, I love the train motif, Sure, it gets goofy at times, but the goofiness of the show works. The color swapping gimmick is really cool. The villains are threatening. The story flows really well. It's all around an amazing Sentai series. All right, I could go on and on about how much I love Tokyuger and why it's such an amazing Sentai series and why you should be watching it instead of this and how you haven't watched it already. You really should. Trust me, it's really good. But, let's just leave it on this. IMAGINATION! Alright guys, that'll do it for this video. Give this video a big like if you enjoyed it, and definitely give it a big like if you want to see my top 5 personal favorite Kamen Rider series. Um, comment below what your top 5 favorite Super Sentai series are. Remember, you have to have seen every episode of that series, as well as all movies related to that series. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, see ya.